What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here, and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to model a chandelier in Revit. It's going to be a modern sh chandelier, and it's actually going to be out of like several families because I would like to make it kind of parametric so it, it's never the same thing whenever you put it into a project. You're going to set it up in a different way so it's always going to be looking interesting. But before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot, and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials tutorials like this every day. And if you want to download this family project file, check out my Patreon first link in the description. For only $5 a month, you get to support this channel and get all of the project files. Okay, so let's get into it. So here I am in Revit and I'm just going to do this as a family. So just go here to new family. And uh, here I'm using the metric library and I'm just going to go for a light fixture. If you're doing any sort of light uh, in Revit as a family, you need to start with a light fixture uh, template. So uh, search here for, let's see, metric spotlighting. Where can we find? Okay, metric lighting fixture. Yeah, let's just go with ceiling based uh, metric lighting fixture. So this is going to be a chandelier that's, uh, well, it's ceiling based. So just go open up and then wait for a second and here we go. So when, once you get to the family, as you can see, you get this uh, yellow circle, that's your light source. And if I go to one of the elevations, as you can see over here, here we got this kind of mock-up ceiling and then we have this ref plane on which our light circle is hosted. So we can move that around and we can move our light source family. So I'm immediately going to just uh, kind of drop it off over here. Uh, then I'm just going to go here to create, go reference plane, create another reference plane just above it, kind of like that, then do one more above that and let's make the distance, I don't know, something like 50 millimeters and then let's do one more like uh, this. Okay, this works. So this is at 600 millimeters. So the metal part of the chandelier uh, light is going to be uh, this thing. This is going to be the light part and here's the light source. Now we can make it a bit closer, maybe like at 50 millimeters. Okay, now we have to constrain all of this. So you just go here to uh, align the dimension and just go from one to the other to the other and then just lock all of these in. So once they're locked in, if you move one of them, as you can see, the whole thing will move accordingly. One more thing we need to do, we need to create a parameter. This will be the parameter that's going to determine the offset from the ceiling. So how, how low is our chandelier light going to be hanging? So again, go dimension, you can use the shortcut DI and just place it over here. You can select it and go cl click this create parameter button on the label tab. And here, let's create this calling, let's call it ceiling offset. Make sure that, it is, that it's an instance parameter. This is going to allow you to have kind of different hanging uh, lights for your chandelier. Okay, so once we have this in place, now if we go here to the type, family types, if we just type in here a different uh, number for our ceiling offset, let's find it. Okay, ceiling offset. And here if we just type in, I don't know, 300, hit apply, as you can see the whole thing moves up. If we type in 600, apply, the whole thing moves down. So that's what we want to have. Now let's actually model our uh, our light. So for that, it's I'm just going to keep it simple, just a few cylinders. So maybe go to the ceiling plan like this. And once you're here, just go create extrusion, uh, just like this circular extrusion. Uh, let's do it like at 30 millimeters. Go finish, go to front elevation, and then what you're going to do, you're going to lock it to this line and then extend it and lock it to this line. Go finish. Now let's change the material, so just go to material. And for this, I like to use some chrome material, so let's type in chrome or hmm, maybe bronze. Yeah, this would look really cool. Hit apply. Okay, so we've got this bronze uh, cool uh, tube, then let's do the light one. So again, ceiling plan, go create, extrusion again, circle, and just do the same circle and go finish. Now go back to the front elevation. Now this is going to go to this reference plane, lock it in place, and the upper portion is locked to this one, lock it in place. And for the material, uh, just go here to glass, and then trying to find this white high luminance and load that one in. So this is actually going to appear that it's uh, lit up 
and uh, usually sometimes while well, people like to keep the uh, this light source symbol inside of this it's actually going to kind of uh, mess up the the way that light is going through the room so i prefer to keep it outside and now again if we move this as you can see the whole thing moves together and let's just do the kind of the the string on which this is uh, hanging from the ceiling or the wire so just go create extrusion and let's go something small like one millimeter go finish go back to your front elevation uh, attach this to this this to that finish and there you go so our family is almost completed maybe go into 3d yeah there we go and before we load it in I like to flex everything just to make sure that it's working so I go over here I uh, type in ceiling offset 300 hit apply okay there you go so it kinda went back up and now to set up the symbol I like to set it up as photometric web hit apply okay and you get something messed up like this then you need to go to type properties to change it so go to type properties or family types sorry uh, and here for the and for the photo photometric web file uh, it's got a generic but I like to choose one of these uh, they're usually better so maybe let's try this one and uh, just the tilt angle let's place it at 90 degrees okay so as you can see now we have this different light it's kind of shining a bit of light upward which I really like so it's going to give us both down and up light and uh, just to set it up uh, a bit more here for the color I usually like to keep this white so I go with at least 4000 uh, Kelvin for this one and for the intensity uh, let's bring this up to I don't know like 6000 okay and then we can kind of lower it if we so choose Okay, so now this is ready to go into a project, so let's create a project for that. Go here to File, New, uh, Project. I'm just going to go with the architectural template, hit OK, and here we go. Okay, so now let's uh, create a room. Uh, let's do four walls like that, and yeah, they can be unconnected at 8 meters. Then let's do a ceiling, automatic ceiling at, I don't know, like 6 meters. Give it a high ceiling. Is it there? Okay, it, it was there, now we've got two, so let's go back. And let's do a floor, just to kind of box everything in. Okay, there we go. So now if we go into 3D, okay, we don't have a ceiling. Go back, ceiling, let's go sketch. I know it's, it's a safer bet. Oh, the problem was it was at six, and it should be at 6,000 millimeters, which is six meters. Hit apply, okay, now if we go into 3D, and if I just go here to wireframe, let's delete that one that we accidentally created too low. Okay, there we go, so I've got the ceiling, and now let's uh, add our chandelier. So for that, you need to go to level one, and let's bring level two up a bit. So it's at seven meters, so from level one, we should be able to see it from the ceiling plan. Yeah, there we go. So now we can load in our chandelier. Uh, where is it? Here it is load into project and here we go go into ceiling plan a component and now we can place it now let's place it here select it uh, go into 3d yeah and as you can see it's over there now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back to the ceiling plan and let's copy this a bunch of times so copy multiple and let's add a few of them so this is the point of this chandelier it's kinda uh, it, it can be weird and it can work in all sorts of conditions so let's create it like this so we got this chandelier and now we can go back into our 3d view and let's just select a bunch of these so select this one this one this one and go here into edit where's the parameter okay here it is ceiling offset and let's do something like 1200 Okay, so those are lower. Then we can select these ones. Do that, those at 2000. Can I make it a bit different? Okay, let's bring these up a bit just to make it a bit more different. Let's bring one lower. Oops. So you get the point, you just play around with these let's see 
let's do a few of these at 800 let's do one at 600 yeah so it's already looking interesting and let's bring this one way down like 3000 maybe okay there you go so it's it's looking interesting so now we can go back into level one of course I'm just doing this like uh, in a weird way but you can play around make it look really nice so just create a camera looking towards this thing uh, maybe angle it up a bit like so and here let's kind of zoom in like that make it look nice maybe select the walls and change the material to something white just to get uh, better better lighting so go with that and here for this ceiling let's see what's the structure finish ceiling tile let's see the appearance of that okay I can work with that could be nicer but who cares okay so we've got our chandelier so let's render it here uh, we can maybe go to medium and yeah make it look a bit nicer but uh, what you need to do you need to make it sure that it's interior artificial only and here for the artificial lights uh, dimming I'm just going to select all of them and let's do these at 0.5 okay and hit render let's see what happens and there you go there's your uh, parametric chandelier family in Revit and as you can see you can play around with the shape I'm not really happy with this shape, I guess uh, I would play around a bit more to get some more interesting shape, but you get a point, you can add as many of these as you would like, and then you can create cool renderings. It's nice and bronze and it lights up the whole room, uh, and uh, these light parts are actually uh, casting light, so it's it, it's looking really cool. So anyway, that's how you create a cool looking uh, parametric chandelier in Revit. So if you want to download this project file, please check out my Patreon, first link in the description. You can even get one-on-one -on -one training for $30 a month, you get one hour. So if that's something you're interested in, check out that page. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share this video. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for any future tutorials, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.